down. Just go bombs away. You can go poop. You come back. Go bombs away. Go bombs away, sweetie. Bombs away. Nice. Let me go get his perch. Hi, everyone. Happy Groundhog Day. Be right back. Einstein, Phil saw, did not see his shadow, and that's very rare. But what that means is spring will come early. If he sees his shadow, that means six more weeks of winter. But if he doesn't see his shadow like today, that means it'll be an early spring, which we, we can go on the porch. I know that is good news. I think everybody finds that as good news. And and we didn't even hear the joke from the um, news people that he would see his shadow because the lights are so bright on the stage. Somebody makes that lame joke every year, not understanding the importance and the mystical powers of the groundhog, uh, which we, of course, understand, don't we? But, Beth, would you hand me Scooter? Can you reach Scooter or without breaking anything? If not, no. Oh. Scooter is um, our Texas groundhog who also makes a local prediction which amazingly always matches. Um, this is Scooter the groundhog and Einstein is uh, very fond of his nose button and would like to eat it off. Scooter got his name because in the movie Groundhog Day the part of Punxsutawney Phil was played by an actor groundhog whose name was Scooter. So that's why we named our groundhog in Texas um, Scooter instead of Phil. We didn't want to copy or plagiarize that. So, so uh, Scooter holds a very important place in our heart. He's traveled the world with us and been, what are you doing? Has been photographed with lots of people around models in Milan, Matt Lauer of, of um, ABC News and other celebrities have posed with Scooter. He used to have a website, but we took it down. But um, I get a lot of wishes for Groundhog Day every year on this day for all my friends who know that I have a passion for, for the activities in Punxsutawney. Einstein is also quite excited as you can And you see. went to Punxsutawney. And we, yeah, I, in 2002, I traveled to Punxsutawney to watch the happening with my own self with some co-workers and, we and that made, year was known as the Philenium. Philenium because not the millennium which was 2000 but the Philenium which was 2002 um because, because of, it was 0202 yeah it was 02 oh i don't know that 020202 <laughs> and um so we, this is a big day for us. We have parties planned all day with our friends and uh, celebrations. And, <laughs> and we're gonna have our traditional Groundhog um, Groundhog Day, you know, evening meal and uh, count our blessings, right? You're very excited, Einstein, I can see. Okay, well, enough of that crap. So my husband is not certifiable. He's just crazy sometimes. And we, he is a big Groundhog Day fan. So happy Groundhog Day, everybody. Did Einstein bombs away? No, you still got to do that. Come here. I brought his perch in here. Okay. Why don't you, why don't you uh, go ahead and release the negative energy. <laughs> and there you go, bombs away, way to go. Okay, let's, let's go over here. That was totally impromptu, y'all. I we, we were not, not, uh, not, that was not planned. Jeff just, that's the way he is. He's very spontaneous. Okay. Well, now you know. One more little tidbit about our, our little family here. Whee! Let's not go over here, okay? Come here. Let's stay up there. Come on. Come here, up. Up, so you want to be over here, Einstein? Oh, it looks like there's a phone over here. I don't know why it's over here. Hang on, everybody. I'm not particularly in a, here. Why are you over here, Einstein? 
We might want to go into the condo room. There's too many things he can get into over here. And Jeff still has all these boxes to unpack. Don't you, Jeff? Yes, I do. Come on. Come on. You can't not chew at the old iPad. He thinks he can get in over there, but... Everybody thought your your groundhog thing was excellent. Huh. He also has other groundhog memorabilia over here. These are things that have been given to Jeff. This was actually Jeff's nameplate on Groundhog Day when he worked. Hang on. Just explain what those are. Um, it's my name tag, Scooter. Your to, desk, for your desk at work. For my right. desk at work. On Groundhog Day. And then somebody made a badge for me, or made a badge for Scooter. And that uh, was, a, let's see. Yeah, it was a program with a foreign country. That was their flag. And he had a top secret clearance. And then, in keeping with the love of Bill Murray and movies he made with rodents, we also made a um, Carl Spackler groundskeeper badge because of Bill Murray's not only did Groundhog Day with Scooter, he did with uh, the rodent uh, in the, the uh, what was that rascal? In, um, in Caddyshack. Caddyshack. I can't think of the varmint's name. He was varmint anyway. <laughs> But Bill Murray seems to, you know, needs to make another movie with some kind of rodent because those are big hit movies. Whatever he pairs with a rodent or an animal, he did a good one with. Don't okay. let him eat our sofa. No. <laughs> with an elephant, also once. So yeah, before Bill leaves our ranks, we want we want more okay. animal movies. Okay, that's enough. Let's get back to Einstein now. Thank you, Jeff. Hey, quit eating the sofa. Come, Come on. on, quit eating the sofa. Oh, gosh. So now you know why we usually just go live in the condo room. <laughs> Einstein, no, he's just... Do you, no, he's chewing the fabric of the armrest, which is protecting the sofa, which is not okay. So we're going to condo. Oh, okay. It's not okay. It's been fun, Einstein. Thank you for visiting. Me and Scooter. Yeah, let's go. Let's go get dressed. Go get dressed. All righty, Einstein, what do you have to say? Happy Groundhog Day. Happy Groundhog Day. Are you happy? Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Um, Julian, Jeff uh, is retired now. He worked 40 years at Lockheed Martin. Um, in, uh, the avionics area of the F-16. So that's what Jeff used to do. Now he just does various volunteer jobs and drives me crazy. <laughs> I'm teasing. But no, he's retired now. But he was in the AV F-16 avionics area. And he led a, he led a group of... Uh, engineers there. Krista, you might need to swipe left. Um, I don't know what kind of a device you're on, but people aren't commenting.
Yeah, Einstein, what does a groundhog say? I don't think they say much. Hey, Einstein, what does a groundhog say? What does, what does a groundhog say? I don't know. No, Krista, the groundhog today came out and predicted that we'll have an early spring. So he does not predict more winter this year. This is a rarity. He hardly ever predicts that spring is around the corner or spring is on the way. So we, we've got a you got a good chance that winter is coming to an end, huh, Einstein? I tell you what, I would believe it because we've had some gorgeous days here in Texas. We've had 70, pardon me, 70, 75 degree weather. Hey, Einstein. What's a dog? Getting a drink of water. What you gonna do now? Okay, let me turn on a few more lights. Come on, do some talking. Do some talking. You mad that you used to be with Jeff and now you're in here? Are you sleepy? Hi, Steve. Welcome to our, to our little group here. We call ourselves the Birdie Brigade. And yeah, Billy just answered. Einstein is 26. We've had him his whole life. Einstein, do some counting. One, two, three, four. Pick a boo. Come on. Come on. Want to drink some coffee? Can you cough? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really coughing. I don't know. Some coffee went down the wrong pipe. Drink some coffee. Drink some more. There you go. <laughs> no, Trissy and uh, Einstein can't say <laughs> groundhog and I hope I pronounced your name right. Yeah, that's a beautiful name. Come on. 
He's not real talkative right now. I think he might get into the into the spirit of things later. I'm gonna have to uh come on. Come on. I'm gonna have to change the camera though so y'all can see him better. Hang on. It's not what I wanted to do. My finger hit something and it went crazy. Sorry, folks. I am really sorry here. Hang on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Can you wave? Okay, you know who we're going to go see on Tuesday? Come on. Come on. Who are we going to go see on Tuesday, Einstein? Or get, guess who's going to visit? Yeah, dancing. You excited? Guess who's... Guess who's going to visit on Tuesday? Cosmo. Cosmo and Einstein have a date on Tuesday. No, not Gunkle Mark. <laughs> we need to go visit Gunkle Mark, but we can't right now. Uh, yeah, we need to visit Cosmo. Cosmo on Tuesday at 2.30 Central. 1.30 Eastern and 12.30 Pacific, okay? Woohoo! Yeah, we have a date, a play date set with Cosmo on Tuesday at 2.30. So y'all will be seeing more announcements about that. We're excited, aren't we, Einstein? Okay, Cosmo, I want to marry you. Marry Einstein. Yeah, but this is just a date. We still have to get to know each other. Come on. We know it was love at first sight, but we know how sometimes those things might go, wrong, you know, bad sometimes. And of course, Cubert you know, still likes Cosmo too. So, and Cosmo still might like Hubert. We don't know. Anyway. Yeah. 
You like Cosmo? You love Cosmo. Okay, we'll talk to y'all. Talk to you later, Einstein. We'll see you later. Oh, thanks, Billy. Okay, 8.30 UK time. We'll go dinner. Sweetie, it's it's not dinner time yet. Wanna cook it? You wanna cook him? It's good. Broccoli. I get you some corn. Look. Here. Here you go. Yes, the date with Einstein. <laughs> Is Tuesday the 6th, February 6th. And yes, it's going to be 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central, and 12.30 Pacific, 8.30 UK, UK time. Come on, come on. Go. Go. No, Laura, it's Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday the 6th. You sitting with your friends? I got a picture of that yesterday. He was up there yesterday. I needed to post it and I forgot. Dancing. You going to dance? Yeah, all your friends. Good boy. Dance and do some talking and some dancing. Shake, rattle, roll. Dancing. Tracy, Cosmo lives in Canada. So there's really no way they'll ever really meet face to face. Corn. Sweet grape. Here. Want a grape? <laughs> You're silly. You're silly. See squirrels. Come here. Peekaboo. Cold out. An apple. A horn. Cosmo's visit will be on the internet. It'll be a, during a live stream, okay? 
Sorry, I didn't know that I needed to needed to make that clearer. I'm sorry. Come here. Uh, no, it's going to be here on the live stream. Well, come see me. It's all right. What are you doing? Dancing. Go. Go. Dancing. Shake your butt. Thank you for the star, Sylvia. Patricia, the groundhog did not see his shadow, so it's spring is around the corner. want to cuddle. Who do you want to cuddle with? Now you have no toys up there. Water. We'll go outside. You're all right. Oops. 
cook it. We're walking, you know, Go see squirrels. What's a rooster? Some water. What Peek color? What colors? Wanna cook him? You wanna cook him? Wanna drink? Get down. Bombs away. Gonna, you gonna clean off this counter for me? Go ahead, clean it off, Einstein. Get all those toys. Throw them on the floor. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Come on. Wanna cook it? Come here. Up. Let's go. Come on. Drink of water. Einstein, everybody wants you Drink to slide. Everybody wants you to slide. I'll open the door. Maybe he'll fly up there and slide. Whoa. Well, he flew up there because I hit the tripod. Okay, now I'll open the door. Don't be scared. It's okay. I just hit the tripod. See how skittish African greys are? That's why you really have to be careful when you... You, when you take your bird outside, please don't take them out without being in a harness or some sort of carrier. Because did you see that? All I did was I hit the tripod with my iPad and it scared him. And if he was outside and he heard he heard a noise that it would scare him, you know, that would he'd be gone if he wasn't in some kind of a carrier or a harness. So y'all just, you know, if y'all have birds, just be real, real careful. And that can happen not only to grays, but any kind of a bird. Wait, wait, wait. Want a carrot? Want a carrot? Peekaboo. Come on. Come on. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. What's a monkey say? What's a monkey say? Good boy. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Come on. Are you a red butt chicken? Are you a red butt chicken? Peek-a-boo. What's a monkey? Monkey. Ooh. <laughs> What's a duck? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. What's a seal? 
What's a seal? Good parrot. Quack, quack, corn. Quack, quack, crazy. Quack, crazy. Go see squirrels. No, Paul, I don't have any walnuts today, just pistachios. Wee, 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 wee. All right. Billy, I still need to get in touch with Simon. And I've gotten a reply back from Apollo, and they are not interested in live streaming. They're more interested in doing a um, FaceTime. So as soon as I can get Einstein more familiar with an iPad without eating it, we might do that with Apollo. Want a nut? Okay, you want a nut? You heard me talk about nuts, huh? Eek, eek. Marsha Mouse? Horse. 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 Pizza party. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Autumn. Well, we might go outside later. It's kind of overcast today, so uh, the sun's not out. But we might go out on the screen porch later. I don't know. We'll see. I have to see how, how warm it is or how cool it is. Einstein, what does E equal? Does it really? It's good. Corn. Corn. So sweet. Your water. When it cook it. Slide was not in his future today. What are you snapping your beak about? Water. You want water? You just had water. You went over there and drank some water just a minute ago. You want to go outside? He talks about going outside, but I bet he doesn't want to go outside. Do you really want to go outside?
Stay away from, oh, he did stay away from that. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let me see. It's almost time to go. You going to have any more things, any more to say? Should we go outside, Einstein, real, real quick? See what's, see what's, go, if there's any squirrels out there. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll try it real quick. And yeah, let me, you want to go outside? Let's, let's see, just a second. Let me open the door first. Okay, come on, let's go. It's actually pretty, well, it's not sunny. It's kind of humid. It's kind of, come on, let's go outside. Come on. <clears throat> come on, let's go. I'll go outside. Go outside, good boy. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. <laughs> Go see the squirrels. We'll go outside. Yeah, go outside. Looky there. Look at the squirrels. Where? Where are the squirrels? Oh, there's a little bit of sunshine. Sun just came out briefly. Want to go over here? Get up there. Oh, good boy. You're a good boy. Okay. We'll go a little bit longer if y'all don't mind. It's about, this is, we'll stay on live for a little bit longer. Bombs away. Good boy. Now, where are the squirrels? I don't see any right now. We go outside. We are outside, sweetie. Um, Autumn. Autumn, I think I get more excited when we see a squirrel than Einstein does. Oh, happy Groundhog Day, Deborah. Yeah, today is Groundhog Day. Where are the squirrels, Einstein? Squirrels, come see me. Okay, I'm going to go inside for a minute. Laura, you need to Google Groundhog Day. If you don't know what Groundhog Day is, 
it's it's a day when the Groundhog Day comes out, and if he sees his shadow, there's six more weeks of winter. If he doesn't see his shadow, then spring is on the way. And it's a legend. It's an old German legend. Legend of the Groundhog. Go and Google it. What is Groundhog Day? Just put that question right in the internet, and you'll get your answer. You can read all about it. No, Krista, um, Germans celebrate Groundhog Day. It's, it's a worldwide legend. It's steeped in history. Oh, in Germany, they call it Siebenschlacher. Schlaffer. Siebenschlacher. Okay. We're outside. Yeah, but you're hearing all this. Because they squirrels. Well, they want to know what Groundhog Day is. I'll clarify a little bit. Okay. So, German immigrants to the Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania area would carry forward their tradition of the candle mass holiday, uh, a Christian holiday which had to do with the shadows cast by a candle. So it was candle mass. Uh, I don't know the German equivalent for that. But as they were out hunting for food in the eight, late 1800s, and shooting at groundhogs and doing a little bit of drinking, somehow the candle mass tradition transitioned to the shadows of a groundhog as they were being shot. And hence was born the uh, Groundhog Day tradition with roots in the German candle mass uh, um, activities. So it went on and it basically was a bunch of drunken German hunters translated this German uh, Christian day of, of celebration or significance to groundhogs being able to forecast the weather as a function of their shadow. So while there are probably your Groundhog Day fans around the world, it is quintessentially an American late 1800s tradition. I forgot how many All right. So there you go. Just just be really careful. Send me the internet. Is that the Schlichen Babber? Sieben Schäfer. Something like that. So thank you for that translation. Way cool. Be really careful. Thank you, Jeff. I, we appreciate that. You may have to turn up your volume to hear that hear that on replay, but but Jeff wanted to get everybody set straight. Okay, Einstein is up, climbing around, having a good time. Good job, sweetie. Can you wave? Yeah, he's pretty. Uh, he knows his groundhog stuff. Sorry if, if Jeff was um, kind of uh, faint there. Um, on the replay, just uh, turn up the replay it and then turn up the volume. Okay, Einstein, I think you're getting tired of being out here. I'm going to come see you. You want to come see me? Yep, that's the clue. 
Okay, let me open the door and maybe you'll fly in the house. Wanna go fly? Wanna go fly? Yeah? Wanna go fly? Yeah, I think it's time for lunch. Einstein, let's go get lunch, okay? Okay, everybody, y'all have a good weekend. We'll see y'all back here on Sunday at 2.30 Central. I'm sorry, 2 o'clock Central, 2 o'clock Central. And um, y'all have a good weekend, okay? Happy Groundhog Day, and we'll see you back at, on Sunday. Okay. Thanks for the stars. Einstein, let's go get lunch.